So I think you've heard this story, but I'm not sure, so I'll tell you again, just in case. So I was driving home from Wesley Logston's wedding. Your mom was still there cleaning things up. And I was thinking what a beautiful wedding it was and how much fun it was. And it reminded me of our wedding, your mother and I. And I was thinking how much fun that was. And then kind of simultaneously, I was thinking about my old friend Ray Gilbert back in the early 80s, whose son was a mining engineer in New Zealand. And his son, Ray's grandson, was born with no thumbs. Um, and so they surgically removed his big toes and put his big toes on his hands so he would have an opposing digit. Those two things kind of rolled around in my head and then this came out. would be without a thumb Now you'd hold a drink, eat a peach, write a note Yeah, it may sound dumb but Holding on to things is really hard for just a minute When you don't have an opposing digit Ah, could you throw a rock or dig a hole or climb a tree without a thumb Shut the door, feed the dog, ride a bike, or open a pack of gum. How would you manage to eat a sausage and biscuit? It's very important. If you don't have an opposing digit, well, honey, you're as important as my thumb. I couldn't do without you. Just like my opposing vision. It'd be really hard to zip your britches up without a thumb To hold a wrench, load a gun, or blow your nose It'd really be no fun It'd be hard to drive your car to make a visit Just like my opposing pigeon.